Hello, everybody. This is Angie, Bub My Stitches. On Instagram, I'm just Bub My. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching and coming back. If you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, if you're a new viewer, I hope you'll become a subscriber. I hope you uh, will hit the like button and hit subscribe and maybe even give me a comment. I would love it. Uh, it's been a whole month since I've been here. It's been a busy, it's, it was a busy June. Uh, shout out to uh, my son, Matthew, he has a girlfriend, Emily, and he always tells people about my floss tubes. I don't know if they ever tune in and watch, but in case, hi, Emily, and hello to her mom, Kelly. Um, so let's get right into talking about stitching. I have a whole, I have a long list of things to chat about. So first I want to talk about FFOs. So a couple of years ago, I'm not 100% sure about the timing, my very first stitching BFFs, we decided we were going to do a kind of like a round robin kind of thing. And we picked out a Beth Twist Heartstring Samplery and Paulette Stewart's Plum from Plum, Plum Street Sampler Samplers. They did a collaboration together. And um, so what we did, this is the final project that Final, yeah, final project that I got that I was the recipient of. So Becky stitched this side and Mary stitched this side and then she sent it to Terry and Terry finished it and gave it to me. And so that's kind of how we did it. I did one side, sent it to Becky. Becky finished it, sent it to Terry, to Mary and she finished it and gave it to Terry. So it kind of went along that we just alphabetically everybody stitched just everybody stitched aside and everybody did a finish and then gave it to the person sorry I, I'm, I'm not making any sense but here's what I got it's absolutely lovely and then I had one teeny tiny little finish this is from uh during the Be Well and Stitch movement. This was something I tried to look up to find more information and I couldn't find it. The Be Kind Scissor Fop. And I made it and I think I tried to do something with it and I failed. And it's nice and teeny tiny. I made it on like, I don't know what count fabric that is. And it might even be over one. But here's what I did with it. It was sitting there languishing and it needed to, something needed to be done, so. Okay, let's get into uh, let's get into our whips. First whip I'm going to show you. It's my newest start. Wasn't going to start anything new, and then this called me. So um, kitten, not kitten. Stop. Shakespeare peddler. Shakespeare's peddler. Um, Teresa Vanette. She recently re-released a pattern that she released in this magazine back in 2012. Here is the pattern. So you could go to her website or to your LNS. Not, don't go to her website. Go to your LNS. This should be coming out or is already out. It's called Glory Glory. But it came out in the 2021 summer edition of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And I saw that she'd released it. I'm like, I wonder if I have that. And I did. And so um, I got a start on it. I um, pulled, I don't, I didn't have the colors that she called for. So I just went to all my floss and said, what do I have? Let's make it work. And so here are my threads and here is where I'm at. So I'm using Black Crow Tarnished Gold dried thyme, blacksmith blue, ruby slipper, and old gold leaf, not old leaf, gold leaf. So I just put my threads down and played with them and had a grand old time. So there's where I'm at. I told you last time that I'm working on finishing things before I start anything new. Although I did take 10 new starts with me to StitchCon and I only started one. So the one that is, I'm going to finish this before I start anything new, 
is Memorial Day by, I, I want to make sure I say it right, Hands on Design. I can't find the cover art. So here is where I am at. I want to say I didn't have any of the writing last time. I didn't have most of the clothesline, I don't think. I might have started on the second flag. So this weekend, I think last night, I finished the third flag and I started working on the clothesline over here. I did have, if you remember from last time, I had a good amount of the greenery done, not a good amount, but I had some of the greenery done at the bottom. And then I was looking at it and I had started my greenery up too high. So that all had to get frogged. So my goal is to have this done before the end of July. That's the goal. All right. Um, uh, last time I showed you Whitaker by Stacy Nash Primitives. I do have that with me. I love this because there's a lot of there's a lot of nice fill in like this you know these pants were all just one color so that was perfect so at StitchCon I finished his pants and I started I got his mitten done I knew I probably didn't have enough because I'm doing three strands over two and in here I have two roasted marshmallows and I didn't think that two roasted marshmallows were going to get me um his head and his body like that. So I was like, oh, I don't want to chance it. So while I was at StitchCon, they had in their annex so many delicious threads. And I bought some of each of the kinds of threads that were there. This is M&M Studio. And this is Ice Queen. This stuff. Oh, my God. I could just, like, cuddle up with it. And holy Hannah. Just fabulous. So. Can't wait to work on that again. I will have a um, car ride coming up at the end of July, and so that will be what I'm working on. All right, then I worked on I worked on Memorial Day a whole whole bunch. I had worked on um, Whitaker, and I was I'm like I brought ten things. I should start at least one new thing. I should spend a little bit of time. So I got out. Heart and Hands 2023 Collector's Heart. There is just one color of thread. This is CGT. I think this was called Leatherbound. I've never seen this thread before. I've never used it, but I did enjoy it. And this is how far I got. I started in the bottom corner. We got the bottom corner and the bottom and that heart all done. So I'm enjoying that very much. It came with, it came with life-changing tip number one, running with scissors, stitching with Jane and Julie. I'm sorry, Jane and Julie, I didn't love this. Maybe it's the fabric. I'm not gonna give up on this. I will try it on something else. What I did use, what I did pull out and use was, and the needle has disappeared. Maybe I used it on something else. Um, what I did use was I had bought the Easy Glide ball tip needles, and I did like I like this was so easy to thread. So Jane and Julie, I'm sorry, but I will uh, I will try again. All right, that is what I've been stitching on. And let me tell you, that Memorial Day, those flags, that is that was stitch heavy. That was like taking me forever and ever, it seemed like. Um, I'm gonna do my throwback pieces really quick. So we're remodeling our downstairs bathroom. It was a lovely shade of yellow. And now we got a new gray cabinet and a new sink and stool. And we painted the walls a light gray. The cabinet's a darker gray when it's all done but this then wasn't gonna go with that. So this is Paula Vaughn. This was the first piece I ever stitched on linen. I finished this back in probably 96. One of the gals I worked at Coles with Gail 
we sat together in a coffee shop and we would stitch and she was the one who said, why don't you try linen? And Gail doesn't even stitch anymore. I'm so sad. But I love Paula Ball. Get out my other Paula Ball. And in there, I had with it this. And I found this baby at Goodwill for $1.49. And I think Kyle, Kyle Kreckmeyer, I think he showed this as a, being one of the first cross stitches he ever did. So these will have to find a new home. I'm thinking maybe in my bedroom. They're going to go in my bedroom. My bedroom's a light blue color. Okay, so now let's get into stitchy kindness. Um, I have a bunch of stitchy kindness. First, I'm going to show you I participated at StitchCon in the Smalls Exchange. Kathy Howe was whose I picked. And here is what I got. This is, um, I'm not going to guess. I wanted to say this was the Housewives, Stitching with the Housewives. Or was this with Priscilla and Kathy were working together? She didn't tell me the name of the pattern, but I know I've seen this, and it's one of the two. I'll have to look that up. But it was done lovely. It's a nice button on the back. And then in here, there was a little hand rake, which I've, it's already out in my garden, and some gloves, and some gladiola bulbs, and some sunflower seeds. So, very, very lovely. And I didn't, whoever got mine at StitchCon, I know that you enjoyed it, and we shared a hug together, but we didn't take a picture, or we didn't even really talk. So, um, sorry about that. Uh, other stitchy kindness. I had a birthday and I was gifted this lovely by Kathleen, who also loves Snoopy. She got me some other Snoopy goodies too. She always does such a nice job with her finishing. Here's her other one. Kathleen as well. Add to my collection. You can never have too much Snoopy. Don't let anybody tell you anything different either. All right, other stitchy kindness that I got. I got this adorable um, project roll from the lovely Mary. So I could put my project in there and then roll it up and keep it safe. Some beautiful birds on it. She's a phenomenal quilter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, um, some other stitchy kindness. I got a gift certificate to Keepsakes and to the Book Barn, which I, the Book Barn, the Book Bus. Um, if you're in Cincinnati, go check out the Book Bus. I got this little chart and some fabulous Roxyco thread. Thank you. Um, I got this marvelous project bag from Terry. This is, oh, I should know who makes this. I don't think the name's on there. But um, Terry, oh, yes, it is right here. It is by, oh my gosh, Linux Stitches. Linux Stitches. Um, and then my friend Terry had this Mirabilia for sale. And I've never done a Mirabilia. Um, so I'm pretty excited because she said, I'm never going to stitch it. I have 10 million things. So um, I got, I purchased the whole thing. So that will be the next thing that goes on my roll of frame now that Let Freedom Ring is done. Um. While I was at StitchCon, you guys have you guys have seen many StitchCon things. This was the lovely tote. And inside was a Ohio coaster made by the lovely Katie, Katie Clark. So excited to have that out. And we also got, where'd they go? I have them right here. Oh. Some cool, something different, some eyeglass cleaners. 
Um, did I do it? Eyeglass cleaner. So you put your eyeglasses in there and rub it around and it cleans them. I would like to highlight I, um, the Hillbilly Candle Company. They came around and gave us, they do candles, but they also do sewing wax. It smells so good. So if you need some wax, go check them out. Um, from my other friend, Mary, I was gifted Happiness is Homemade, the 2023 Nashville Needlework cookbook with all the little adorable um, patterns inside. There's lots of patterns and lots of good looking dishes. So I decided to try that out. And stitch buttons. These are stitch buttons by, holy cow, I need my reading glasses. Running with, running with needle and scissors. It's the whole kit. It says stitch and then it comes with the fabric and the scrabble piece and the yarn, everything's in here. And these cute scissors. I've never had a pair like this. I've always looked at them and wanted them. An adorable strawberry needle minder and a glasses cleaner. I think there's a sampler on it. There is. There's a theme here. Obviously lots of stitchers eyes are getting old. We need to keep our glasses clean. A present for you, my dear aunt. And got work. All right. And then my sweet friend Carol didn't get to go to StitchCon this year. She had to go to a wedding instead. But she gifted me an adorable. that she hand sewed herself. How lovely. Um, lots of people came around. Let's talk about StitchCon really quick for a second. Um, it was fabulous. It was a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, met a lot of lovely, lovely people there. Um, enjoyed it thoroughly. Lots of stitching, lots of laughing, lots of eating. Uh, it was a great, great time. Um, People came around and gave all kinds of different goodies. These are little snack, so you could stitch and eat Cheetos and not get, you know, the stuff on your fingers. These were perfect. Uh, lots of different goodies this year. Check out this counting pin. Now, back in the 70s and 80s, early 80s, 70s, we used to wear these on our scarves or our, you had a blazer on. We would wear these. I don't know if I kept any of mine. I might have. I had one like a telephone. But using that as a counting pin. Got lots of wax this year. Lots of little, like little pieces of wax. This was from Jamie Richardson, little counting pins. I came away with tons of counting pins this year and a little elephant wax. Um, so, oh, this is by Southern Yankee Stitcher. She passed out little note cards. When you're going to a stitching event, you don't have to take gifts. That is solely at your discretion. Like if you want to give them to your table or if you want to pass things out, that you don't have to. It's a good way to meet people. One year I took floss. I took DMC floss and just walked around and passed it, passed it out. This year I took notepads that the kids at my, um, my school maid. If you would like a notepad, leave me a comment below and I will contact you and send you one. I got these little teeny tiny wax pieces. And somebody, I love these things, 
uh, I got a yo-yo with a clasp and little 2023 charm and an angel. And somebody came around, I wasn't at the table, and I got a little thing of thread and a highlighter. So when you go to a, oh, and uh, these ladies put together, there's all these little beads in here, like little sea beads. And little tiny buttons, little tiny buttons. I have, you guys, to this day, I have never stitched and put beads in anything. I guess it's my cue to start, right? Before um, before I start that marabalia. <laughs> um, but back to the task at hand. If you go to a retreat, you do not need to take gifts for your table mates. If you do, great. If you don't, that's okay. Your presence is what is most important. Uh, you don't have to pass anything out either. But if you do... That's perfectly fine, and that's up to you. No pressure. There should be no pressure, and there is no pressure. It is what it is. Go and have fun. Okay, let's talk haul. I told myself I wasn't going to spend a ton of money. Ha! Why did I tell myself that? Let's see. I went to the I went to the book bus, the book depot, because she now has a place for her stitchy book bus. Or not her stitchy book bus. No, I'm combining two things. Her book bus has a place to park. So when it's rainy, she still could have events. And there's a lovely coffee shop next door. And I found this book. This book is not for the faint of heart. I'm a little naive in what I what is found on the pages of this that I didn't see before I bought it. But there are some nice things in here. My friends at the table all had a hilarious laugh at my expense because I didn't know exactly what one thing was. But I'll show you a couple of the, so, happiness is homemade, handmade, happiness is handmade. Um, oh, I like this, community over competition. You know, some days I feel like I'm sad when I see what other people have, other people do, because I'm like, uh, I can, how come they can stitch so fast? I can't stitch that fast. Um, here's a good one. Forgive yourself. Big time. Um, Self-care is not selfish. You are not alive to pay bills and lose weight. So this is not for the faint of heart, but this is a really adorable book. Okay. So then, oh, before I went, my friends and I have decided we need something new to stitch. We're not good. I don't. I don't know that we're going to like, and we've invited more people. I don't know that we're going to trade pieces, but we're all going to start together. So this is modern folk embroidery. This is um, Jacob de Graff. And it says, when this you see, remember me, though many miles we distant be. So a lot of the gals have said they're doing it in the Roxy um, floss, the color Tell you what color I didn't look at it because I was like I'm not I don't want to do it in that dark color couldn't tell you because I can't find it but it's a really dark color and so I while I was at stitch kind knew I was gonna pick out fabric and I was gonna pick out floss so my second floss purchase was by the forbidden fiber company Look at that gorgeousness, gorgeous blue. And then the fabric is forbidden. The dyer, oh, the dyer is forbidden. The color is Lullaby. It is 16 count Ada. So that is what, Forbidden Fiber Company, is that what it is? It's all, oh, like all the forbidden. 
I think that will be lovely. So this is a nice blue. It's got a little bit of modeling in it. Very excited about that. Um, this is a Madame Chantilly Poyette Cosette. Adorable chickens. Flowers. I think that's a needlebook. I just like the, the design on the outside. Um, I bought something that I'm not going to show because I'm going to make it for a present. Because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to show you this because I'm making it for a present. But here's the other M&M Studio glosses I bought, and I only bought these just because I liked them, and I didn't need a reason to buy them. Right? I just wanted. I got another Luminous Fiber Arts Gathering Stitches. I got a Prairie Schooler Christmas Traditions, and I think, and I bought it for this nativity. All right, I'll take it out of the. Um, it was a beautiful, sunshiny day. I walked the dog. We The humidity is like out of this world. Um, I worked outside for a little bit. It was bright. It was sunny. And now it looks like it's going to storm. So here's that nativity is what my plan is. Uh, speaking of, I'm well, not speaking of, but then Teresa Kogut, the Madonna in Child. All right, I'm going to check it out. I don't think I've ever seen this. But it was there. And, the, you know, she had a trunk show in the annex. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. Oh, my word. So beautiful. But holy Hannah, the threads in this baby. Check this. Okay, look at this. It's gorgeous. Um, all DMC. Oh, wait. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36 colors in this baby. Holy cow. It's going to be gorgeous, isn't it? Just gorgeous. So, very excited about that. Um, and then the plump snowman. It says, plump snowman and sly foxes too, frolic in the shimmering snow under the sky of midnight blue, waiting for St. Nick to show. I'm not 100% I'm going to do all those words. I'm thinking just the snowmen and the foxes will be what it's all about. Um, finally, a farm girl designed this just for the time, and I believe that 100% of the proceeds were going to the philanthropy this year, which what which is... Um, St. Joseph's House, which is a house for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities to live. And they're very well cared for. And we raised 30 plus thousand dollars for them. Uh, our family was big into watching Game of Thrones. And when I saw this Summer House Stitch Works, I was like, that reminds me of the Fairy Princess coming. I don't know if I can change it to make it say, I don't know. They knew it was coming. But even if I don't, I just love that. Uh, I did get two more. I got to find the rest of them. I found two more. This was, this whale was the last one, I think, that I got that they had at Keepsakes. And I, this is the fabric I got to make. This is Glass Elevator, Elevator by the Forbidden Fiber Company. Isn't that beautiful? Um, Wilbur. I saw him last year, and I was in love with him, and I walked away from him, and I said, if he's back, I'm getting him. Okay. 
And then this is the 2018 Collector's Heart. This was the 20th, 20th anniversary for Heart of Hand. It comes with the fabric and the buttons and the beads. Ooh, there's beads in here. Uh, oops. I'm a, I'm a sucker for, I'm a total sucker for Heart and Hand. Make life beautiful for others. This was something that was done for Stitch Con. Friendship Grows by Sweet Wing Studio. And I got this by Sweet Wing Studio. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Love that octopus. Isn't that wild? Uh, oh, one more pattern in the bottom of the box. Uh, my soul, my soul is fed with needle and thread by Heart of Hand, and I meant to purchase. I had taken it, the glassware. I had taken it. I looked at it. I put it down. I was looking through the patterns. I picked this up, and I walked away, and I made my purchase, and I sat down, and I went, "You didn't get the other part." It's okay because I'm thinking thinking I could find a mug or another bowl for this to sit on. Or someday when I'm back at the other I'll get it. Uh, let's see. I got, this is uh, Lady.Creates. I got these pins. Aren't they beautiful? I bought these because when a couple of years ago, Lindy Stitches has a uh, pin keep that was posies and she had the specialty pins in there and I love them and I saw these and I said these are so pretty I did buy two other fabrics I bought brace notes fabrics this is Jane Bell I love pink I don't have a plan for this but it was pink and I love it and then I bought, this is probably, this is Atomic Ranch, Golden Harvest, 16 Count Ada. Well, that was my StitchCon haul. That was plenty of haul. Um, apparently, here's a laugh, apparently, um, you know that if you go to those of you who are able to go have been able to go to keepsakes, you always get your purchase in a gingham, green gingham bag. And the company informed Barbara that they're not making it anymore. Or her distributor's not gonna have it anymore. That's a bummer. Okay, so oh, I've got one more haul. And it's um, a little bit hilarious. My husband is not happy with Pam and Steph of just keep stitching because they told me about a website and I'm watching them and they're talking about this website called cross stitch stash. And I, and Pam found all these patterns that she wanted to complete her collection. She used the word collection. And earlier I had seen or heard, or it was a meme or something, about cross stitch, like, you know, why are people in a hurry to use their stash? Why are they worried about their stash? It's a collection. Nobody asks people who collect postcards to send their postcards and use them up. So why are you worried about your stash? I'd only be worried, and I'm a little bit worried about my stash. I've told my kids, so help me God, if my stuff ends up in Goodwill, I'm a haunter. So while I was watching them, I clicked over to Cross Stitch and Stash to see if they had any peanuts charts. Well, guess what they do? And Mr. Meyer's not very happy with Pam and Steph. Well, not so much Steph, but Pam. Now these are made to do on paper to be magnets, but you certainly don't have to. And then there was this one. 
it has four patterns in it, but they do not have pictures of the patterns. So the other one is Snoopy and um, Charlie Brown sitting on a dock looking out of the water. Lucy is getting a kiss from, not Lucy, Peppermint Patty's getting a kiss. It's this one right here, that one. And then um, Charlie Brown sitting in a chair with Snoopy and a bunch of Woodstocks watching TV. These are the four patterns. I think this one is the one that I'm going to have to do. Although I don't think I'm going to put the word deep in the thing. And then this one. I just love Charlie Brown reading that book in my modern school book. I don't, I think, I think Snoopy and Charlie Brown are reading the wrong one. These were not outlandishly priced. They were very reasonable. So, I, there is out there in eBay land, there is a Charlie Brown tree skirt to stitch. And it's super expensive. I want to say last time I looked, it was $300. And I just think... Just like with the Mirabilia going for crazy numbers, I just think it's crazy. So, one last piece of haul. I wish I could remember who was talking about this, but for the life of me, I can't. But they, instead of just doing half, they did the whole, they made the image the whole thing. And I just fell in love with these. Who was I watching? I don't know. Sorry. Whoever you are, I'm sorry. So that's where I'm at. So um, I want to say something to Stitchy Friends. I was th I've was i been thinking about Stitchy Friends a lot. I think because um, going into the weekend for StitchCon, I saw a lot of like snarky posts. And I was like, you know, going to a retreat should just be fun. And meeting people and stitching and saying hello. Because I've met so many fabulous people cross-stitching. And even like here in my town recently, I've been connecting up with people who stitch and they're lovely and we've had a great time. And cross-stitching brings something for everybody. And I, I've been watching a little bit of floss tube here and there. And I think about like right now, Naptime Stitcher is doing summer stitch. And every day there's a different prompt. And how much fun is that just to connect with people on social media. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. You know, um, Dina half stitch cross stitch. I love watching her and love it. The I get joy of watching her get such joy of meeting her prompts and meeting her things and doing, um, all the stitching things that she does and, and making what she's working on fit, whatever prompt she needs and how many stitches she got done. Um, I'm a little bit jealous, but I'm also very, it just makes me, it brings me joy to that. And Jessie Marie and her whip go. Um, I love seeing people going, I made my whip go goal and, or I, you know, I've got it or I, you know, this is what I've gotten done. And it, I love it that it gives people focus and it brings them joy in their stitching. I know I've said that like three times, but the other thing that has brought me great joy lately is watching Missy. Um, her husband, Mike, two needles pulling a thread. It's her sister-in-law, Kathy's brother. They are best buds and they um, do a floss tube together. Two needles pulling thread. I'm sure you've heard of them. But Missy's husband, Mike, has been getting in her uh, stitchy room and been doing some hilarious videos. And you could find those on Instagram under Missy, um, Missy Timberlake's. He gets it so much. It's so funny. It's hilarious. My husband came with me this year to StitchCon and he hang out, hung out with the other three husbands and he had a great time. Um, my husband can, does know what a whip is and he could tell you all about a sal and haul and a project bag. He'd take great pride in that. 
we had a great time. We ate a lot of good food. And when we left there, we went to Pittsburgh and saw the Cubs beat the Pirates. And that was fabulous. Pittsburgh's a lovely town. StitchCon, we had a blast. We laughed. We cried. We stitched some more. It was a lot of fun. Barbara and her team put on an awesome retreat. They really do. And I, and I think what makes every retreat is different. Every retreat is special. It's unique in its own way. The vibe, the vibe, you know, the gal, the team who was there at A and B said the vibe was totally different between both weekends and there's nothing wrong with that. It just, you know, it is what it is. There was so much amazing work going on. It was fabulous. It was a lovely, lovely time. So my family's all doing well. Uh, Thomas finished his first year teaching in Chicago and he loved it and he can't wait to go back. They just got back from a fun trip to Ibiza, Spain. That kid goes everywhere. Um, ben and Tori are doing well. They uh, Ben's got a year and a half left to go of school to become a nurse anesthetist. Um, John's doing great, has a new job working as a security person, and he absolutely loves it. And Matthew is rocking his new job, and he's got his new girlfriend, Emily, who's as sweet as could be. They just had a fun time uh, hiking through Smoky Mountains. Dave and I are doing well. All the kids, we're all going to gather in Santa Claus, Indiana soon for a little getaway weekend. That's our Christmas present from them. They arranged it, so we can't wait for that because Santa Claus Holiday World is one of our favorite places on Earth. Uh, summer school's over. I did more summer school than I wanted to, but it was fine. I love my kiddos. So uh, my husband's been rocking in his bands. He's playing in Protégé and Biscuits and Gravy, and that's been fun. So it's all good. I hope you're good. I hope you're stitching a lot. I'm. If you stayed till this very end, bonus points for you. Thank you. This was a little bit longer than usual, and uh, I hope to see you soon.